London's burning, and no one seems able to bring it under control. As night fell, a huge blaze lit up Croydon in the south of the city, and it spread quickly, with no sign of police or firefighters in the vicinity. Neighbourhoods previously untouched by the rioting of the past three days are now joining an ever-growing list of unruly suburbs. Earlier in Peckham, a line of police officers charged up the road to disperse those who'd started a blaze so that fire engines could get through to fight the flames. The lawlessness has spread across the capital, and what was originally fueled by anger over the fatal shooting of Mark Duggan by police officers on Thursday night seems to have turned into attacks on property for the sake of seeing them destroyed. You've got young people that have uh, uh, got so much bottled up inside of them that they're using this opportunity to let off. You've got a lot of young people out here that, that, that are just sheer evil, just sheer evilness. It is, it's horrible out here. It's, it's, it's like a war zone. It is nasty out here. Many of those taking part in the disturbances tried to hide their faces. But even though more than 200 people have been arrested in other parts of London, some rioters don't seem to care about being identified. In Lewisham, where there was another outbreak of violence, those who've seen their cars or shops attacked are angry at the police's apparent inability to protect property. Innocent people getting attacked to try and protect a bus driver, which I think is ridiculous. Like, I can understand that people are angry with the government and, you know, the government are not doing certain things and the justice system, but at the end of the day, people need to just, like, kind of just be normal. In Hackney, bins became a makeshift barricade, and then their contents were tipped out to provide ammunition to hurl at officers. Here at least, there were large numbers of police at the scene. Earlier, they'd advised shopkeepers to close their doors because of impending trouble, but the warning was not enough. We closed all the doors and we were boarding up the shop, and they just barging through the locked door, damaged the whole place, and thrown the bottle on me to damage me too. My angle is bleeding terribly. Some of these people have been out for three nights running with very little sleep and it feels like a war zone down here and it's very, very tragic because these young people are hurting their community, trashing their community. It's going to be very hard to get investment, to get confidence back. So it's a really tragic situation. Some of those involved look like youngsters barely into their teens and that's led the police to urge parents to get their children off the streets. There are far too many spectators uh, who are getting in the way of the police operations uh, to tackle criminal uh, thuggery uh, and burglary. Uh, and I'm imploring that people within those communities actually start clearing the streets to enable my police officers to deal with the criminality that is uh, occurring in front of them. One officer collapsed injured after being hit by a missile. Reinforcements are being drafted in, 300 extra from 12 other forces to try to contain the violence which has made so many of the capital streets unsafe to walk on. Inwards Sky News.